Hey guys and gals, Danny Boy here, and today I have the Samsung Galaxy S10e and the Google Pixel 3 XL. And what I want to do in this video is discuss the displays on these phones, you know, what are we dealing with here, how do they stack up against each other. I think now in 2020, these phones can be had for about the same price. Uh, the S10e here, I think, retails for $599, and the Pixel 3 XL, eh, you know, between four and five hundred bucks, I think. Now, if you got a used S10e or an open box or whatever, I think you would find these phones to be about the same price. Okay, so. The S10e here is obviously the smaller of the two phones, and if we look here just kind of at a glance here, we can see this is a more compact phone, but yet, in saying that, it still sports a pretty large display. Okay, the S10e has a 5.8 inch display here, and it does have the hole punch cut out for the front facing camera there. Bezels are pretty thin, and then it does have a little bit, you know, slightly bigger bezel here at the bottom. Okay, if I open up an app there, you can kind of see that. Okay, so as far as, uh, you know, what kind of display, this is a Super AMOLED panel from Samsung and it is clocking in at 438 ppi so it's not quad hd but it's pretty good on the ppi it's definitely better than having a phone with it at 401 ish you know 402 it's better than that uh, but it's not quad hd level I would say the sweet spot is about 450. That's when a display, in my opinion, really starts to get good. So this is right near that. Um, and it's a really, really good display. I mean, we're talking flagship level quality here. If we turn it and kind of look at the viewing angles, we can see the viewing angles are really, really good. You know, it's definitely flagship quality here. Let's go ahead and check the brightness. Uh, if I max out the brightness there, as you can see, it gets really bright. You know, that's too bright for me. I couldn't use it at this brightness for long. But for outdoor usage, this phone is going to be really good in that area. But, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm really like how they've been able to get such a big screen onto a small form factor and it's a flat display right i really like that i like my displays to be flat okay so now let's discuss the pixel 3 xl and it definitely has a bigger display here at 6.3 inches okay so bigger um, you do have this rather large notch up here. Um, it just is what it is. If I open up an app, you can kind of see that a little bit better. Um, just a bit big on the notch. Some people didn't like that. I have found it to be perfectly fine. It doesn't bother me at all. Um, I will say I like how the text and the icons and the status bar is kind of centered in the notch because the notch is so deep down into the phone. So it kind of gives it that symmetrical look. Um, but, you know, really good display here, guys. Uh, this is also an AMOLED panel. This one, however, clocks in at 523 ppi. Okay, so this one is Quad HD. It is higher in the pixel density than the Galaxy S10e. It's, you especially notice that when you're reading text. Text really pops on this display. It's really a joy to use when you're reading something. 
Uh, besides that, I would say there's not a whole lot of difference. Um, if we look here, you know, we can kind of see the viewing angles are definitely really good here. This is flagship level, flagship quality. Okay, really good. Now, one area where I believe this display suffers, and probably the biggest suffering of this display, is its brightness. If we turn it up on max, it's just, it looks brighter on the camera as I'm looking through here than it really is. This phone just doesn't get super bright. Not as bright, I don't think, here as the Galaxy S10e. Um, it's just... It's okay. I usually sport this phone around 85, 90% uh, brightness. And the problem with that is, is it does kind of hit my battery a little bit. I shouldn't have to turn the brightness up that much, but because this is a dimmer display, it just is what it is here. I mean, you got to kind of crank it up around that vicinity there for me anyway to get the brightness where I want it, and unfortunately that hits the battery life. So, it is what it is, guys. I mean, both displays are really good, though. If we go into the settings here on both of them, we'll look at the S10e here first. We can kind of see our display settings. Of course, we've got a light and a dark mode. You do have adaptive brightness, uh, blue light filter, okay. I leave that on all the time. Got screen mode, so these are your two different screen modes, which I'm not too happy about that. I kind of wish there were more options here, um, but it is what it is, okay. You can kind of see there. Uh, a little bit modest, a little bit uh, less than you want there on the uh, settings for the display. But it is what it is. There's your screen timeout. This one only goes up to 10 minutes. Um, of course, you do have the edge display. That's nice. And edge lighting for notifications. And both of these phones have always-on displays, which is nice. Um, if we look here at the Pixel 3 XL, okay, here at the display, okay, it has a dark theme. Now, I do have the uh, adaptive brightness on on this phone. It does make it a little too dim at times, but it conserves the battery life pretty good. I leave the night light on all the time, again, because I feel like it allows the colors to pop a little bit more. And uh, screen timeout on this phone goes up to 30 minutes, so that's definitely good. I like that colors here. We've got one more option here. We've got natural boosted adaptive. So surprisingly, the Pixel here has arguably a little bit more customization, but one more mode here. Still kind of modest compared to, say, like a OnePlus phone. Um, but there it is, guys. I mean, natural boosted adaptive it's all in what you like. Um, and then, of course, your normal settings. Uh, but as I was saying, these both have always-on displays. Now, the main difference here is with the Samsung, there's a lot of customization that can be done to this always-on display and how it looks. Here with the Pixel, what you see is basically what you get. You really can't customize the Pixel's always-on display right now. Now, both of these phones are running Android 10, 
and it is what it is, which, you know, it's nice to have it because as we know, like an iPhone, a OnePlus phone, they don't have always on displays, but you kind of wish it was more customizable on the Pixel. Um, if I go here and look at the settings really quickly here, um, we can see, you know, basically the different clocks you can have. Okay, these are your different options as you can see up here. So it's really good offering here. You can add your own image or GIF. Okay. So I definitely like Samsung's vast customization here. And then you got different colors. Okay, so definitely a good look there but guys yeah um these are my thoughts on the displays between the s10e and the pixel 3xl um as always guys if you're enjoying my videos be sure to subscribe to my channel and then of course hitting that thumbs up button helps as well but for now guys peace out